Hello, this is Pedro Velasco with roll to roll Technologies. Now, we have customers that have come to us because they have pneumohydraulic uh, units installed on their, on their lines. Now, they're using these pneumohydraulic units to guide the web. Now, there's something, a problem with these pneumohydraulics is that, number one, they're a very bulky uh, piece of equipment, so they occupy a lot of space in your line. Additionally, you have all these hydraulic lines running all over the place. At the same time, they're very noisy and actually you have the risk of having leakage or any blowouts due to the hydraulic fluid which can mess up your operation pretty bad, especially your products. Right? Another issue that we have with those is because the sensors are actually running with air, then they have issues, issues with, uh, uh, with accuracy. And uh, at the same time, there's the issue of maintenance. You have to change filters every so often and there's the issue of cost. These things are very costly to operate because the motor on the hydraulic unit has to be constantly running. So we have a solution for that with our retrofit kits for these, uh, uh, for these new hydraulic units in your lines. So one of the things that we want to show you today is a before and after of a retrofit kit that we have done. So when we actually took uh, one of these uh, um, steering guides and we can sh we show, we're going to show you how we did the retrofit specifically of the uh, actuator, hy hydraulic actuator, and we put our uh, electromechanical actuator on it. And at the same time, we can talk to you a little bit about more how the system uh, reduces uh, the space required for this, and at the same time, how your uh, performance will increase because of our accuracy that we provide you with our system. So in here, we show you the finished product of our uh, retrofit. In this case, we have installed our motor actuator on the system. Uh, we replaced the hydraulic unit that they had, the hydraulic sensor they had, and we placed a several center uh, sensor. Uh, we have, we would provide you with a motor driver for this unit. This is the plate that we uh, prepare for you so that you can adapt this uh, into the, your uh, assembly on the raceway and it would make it very simple to reinstall in your operation. So now, as we can see, we have most of the components that are required to do a new hydraulic uh, um, retrofit kit. The control box, the, we have the actuator with its uh, um, uh, motor driver, and then we have uh, the sensor itself. In this case, we have a 221. Now, the 221 allows you, if you have a, a um, let's say variations in width of material that you're going to run, 221 is actually very good. And if you have two 221s, you can do uh, a, a center guide with it. But what I want to show you here, most, uh, most important is, this is how we would actually have it installed on your line. So in this case, you have the 221, and then on the back side, you can see this would be the bracket that we would use to mount it on a rail that we can make it out of a uh, one inch uh, extruded aluminum, which can go any uh, width that you need that you require. And it's a very simple to use bracket. It has a brake or a lever that acts as a brake and once you release it you can just slide the sensor easily in position. And once you have it in position you can just close it back up. So as you, can, as you see, here are some of the benefits that we provide you when you actually do a retrofit with our electro, uh, electromechanical system in comparison with the new model. Number one is there is no leakage. So you have no issues of having hydraulic fluid on your floor or on your product. Considerably less noise. The only thing you might hear, if you even hear it, is the sound of the actuator moving. Okay? We provide better accuracy because we're using our high-end technology, the newest thing that we have on, on the, uh, in the market, which is a sensor that requires no calibration and very high accuracy in comparison to using a sensor that uses air. Lower co uh, power consumption because we're using 24 VDC. That's all it is. Before you were using a, 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 a motor that requires 220 uh, volts into it. So it's a very high wattage uh, that you're going to have to operate. We have less maintenance with this because with a new hydraulic system you need to do changes of uh, filters and you need to do uh, checks of uh, couplings and the connections. So, uh, this reduces the cost of operation. Better control and more flexibility because we can put the operator interface in any place that you require. We can actually connect our controls to a PLC and better yet, something that in the future is going to be where the web handling industry is going to is data collection for usage in determining the, your process of health or any other things that you might want, especially with QA uh, issues. 
So we hope that this has been educational for you. It will help you make a decision. If you have a pneumo hydraulic unit, just contact us and we can actually help you with how to do this retrofit in your, in your operation. Believe me, you will save a lot of money by doing this, this, uh, this changeover. If you want to find out more about our systems and about other products that we have, you can go to our website, www.r2r.tech.